Here we have the Bose IE2 in-ear headphones and what I'm going to do in this unboxing review is pay particular focus to all the unique items and identifiers that allow you to be sure that you're getting a unique and original Bose headphone and not a copy. So quickly do the spin of the box but you'll notice here there's a window through the cardboard which, is an, which allows you to see through to an all important um, identifier, which we'll come into in more detail when the packaging's removed because it's a little bit shiny to the plastic, but we'll see that throughout the video. I'm gonna do a quick box spin so you get to see the box in its glory. It's a very simple, stylish box. Nothing too glossy and it isn't actually glossy. That's me rubbing my finger over it just so you can hear. So it's not overly smooth and shiny. The only smooth shiny part are these circular round sticky tabs that they've used to seal the bottom and the top of the box. The rest of it is all glue sided. So there's no open end apart from the top and the bottom. And the very bottom of the box, you get a sticker. And on the sticker, you get all the material numbers, the model numbers, and of course the serial number and I'm partly covering that because this is mine and I don't want to uh, have anybody claim that this is there so excuse me whilst I cover the serial number there on the very top another important feature I'm going to zoom right in actually because it's harder to see this but you've actually got as part of the hanging tag that is used to hang this on a shelf let's just the camera zoom in there we go so this black plastic here is actually an additional embossed piece of plastic that you get that sort of sticks into and around, becomes part of the hanging tab that you'd normally see in a retail seller on their hanging hooks. And you can just, let me just do this now, flip this out, and literally you've got yourself an extra bit of black plastic that was in and around this normal standard shelf hook. Let me just pull back out again so you can see all of this in its glory. So I'm going to pop that aside, but literally that is a a shaped molded piece of plastic again branded again embossed so that's a, a good telltale sign to look out for okay i'm now going to open the box i've already removed one of the circular sticky surrounds just to make this a little bit easier and just slide the box out and away and pop that up out there still in shot okay so the plastic container is one that you have to cut through so again this is not something that can be opened easily, so it's very tamper evident, which I like, because at the end of the day, you don't want to have got one that's already been opened and returned to a store, so that's totally sealed all around. There's no way of getting in there. So although this parts two ways, you can't then pull it open. This is something we're going to cut with a scissors and or a knife. Registration cards visible on the back. You can just see through the side here all the other in-ear options. So there are six included in here. I should say three pairs. One pair is already mounted to the head ear pieces that are visible there and the others are in bags within the side of the unit and looking on the other side what can you see through there you can only really see the case that's included in this and that's partly why the packaging is so large and all you can see through the top here again is the telltale black and white spiral twisting cable stripes that Bose use so again that's a very good telltale sign to look for these are not just black and white lines or stripes they curl so it's actually part of the print and manufacture process and again we're going to zoom in a little bit, but you're not going to see it too clearly until I remove this. Again, you're going to see the hologram that is stuck to part of the actual headphone piece itself. There we go. Let's get the light right. And there's a QR code there. You can see the Bose insignia. And again, there's some information there, numbers underneath there, which is uh, enough information for you to, again, identify the model, the part, and the fact that it's an original Bose unit. So again, I'll zoom in more closely once the unit is taken out of this packaging. Now for the fun part, a pair of scissors and a knife. I'm gonna cut the edges and show you exactly the inside. Okay, it's time to cut open the packaging. And you can do this either with a good trusty pair of tough scissors, and they will need to be quite tough because you've got to cut your way through some quite thick plastic. And here we go, the corners are always the fun bit. Or if you've got a little cutting board underneath you or your quad adapt hand, using a standing knife, then this is also another way of doing it, where you can cut along the seam, obviously I've got to move my thumb before I cut it into it, where you slide yourself through and cut away the plastic. I've not done a very deep cut there because I didn't want to cut my fingers. So blade or, or scissors is absolutely fine. And you just need to chomp your way through at least two of the sides to get into the items inside the box. So you can now gain entry. 
And I'm going to just slide all the parts onto the tables and clear away the scissors. Let's just have a little look at this, how they secured this. They've actually secured this in with a bit of tape. So I'm peeling a little bit of tape here to get the main cable out. That came up quite easily, as did these. And I'm going to just feel my way around here. Again, that's just hooked into, it's very snug packaging actually. I'm actually finding a good grip and get rid of this unneeded plastic. And I'm going to spread out the uh, items now a little bit more clearly for you to see everything. So we have in that bag, the in that plastic bag, the actual carrier holder. We've got ourselves the all the necessary owners record uh, details and all the addresses. I've also got a security tab in here, so I've got a the magnetic type and the uh, RFID tag, and that's a nice little blue cardboard sleeve that nobody needs. I've got here my serial number details and registration warranty information. Warranty information details again, and of course the more important headphones themselves. Let's just quickly go through and see what you've got here. So there was a little bit of tape holding the cable into the packaging, so I'm just going to take that off, stick that to the table. I can use that to tidy away some bits of paper. And what I'm going to do is quickly zoom in on the actual headphones themselves, so you can see again the very smart Bose lettering you've got here on the actual headphones. It's just going really close. Let the camera zoom in on that. And as you can see, very nice embossing going on. There's a right indentation, very, very subtle, and a left. These are really beautifully squidgy and soft. Obviously they come in three sizes. And the idea of these in-ear pieces is of course this goes into your ear and this also sits within your ear and generally expands into the inner part of the, uh, the main chamber of the ear. Whilst this is obviously the uh, sound producing end, this is purely part of their more secure grip system. And I'll let you know how that gets on with me later on once I've used these for a bit. So I'm going to zoom out a little bit and we're going on to the all important hologram area. So going down the cable, again you can see the twisting. You've got now the join point, and on this join point here, which is a little bit of plastic, you've got this, and I'm going to zoom right in so you can see this now. Let the camera focus in on that. Oops, there we go. It's very reflective, so apologies for my over light, overhead light. In fact, I'm going to bring it a little bit closer, and there we got it. So again, you can see the QR code, Bose, and that number there will be the model number of this particular set of headphones. Okay, I'm going to pull out again. Just go out a little bit. And I'm going to feel the way down the rest of the cable. We have here a little clip that spins and is a little crocodile clip so it can grip to clothing, etc. So it can uh, hold your cable to your clothing. We've got a couple of little black, very neatly wound. I'm going to zoom in in case this is uh, something that you spot very neatly wound um, cable ties just wrapped around there so the classic plastic covered wire and at the very end let's stay zoomed in a very nice small right angled attachment for the actual jack okay let's just have a quick look at the case that's supplied personally i don't think i'm going to use this let's have a quick look it's a quite nice leatherette feel, certainly plastic and not leather. It has a zip, a rather large zip, a bit noisy. Let's open it up and nothing fantastic. You've got very smooth uh, material on the back here, a little bit of padding going on here, but basically it's uh, not really got any clips or holders or anything special about that. So it's all very good that they've given you a little case so you can keep your spare earbuds, etc. Um, you could certainly keep the headphones as well in them as well. Um, do I think it's going to make a good substitute phone case? Possibly, that's an iPhone 4S, could fit inside. Do I think I'm going to do that? No, I'm not. Possibly an iTune, um, sorry, an iPod, maybe an iPod Nano you might use, but I think with the zip and the noise, I'm not so sure that case is so useful. Maybe something to keep all the parts on in at home, but not something I'll use in the field. This of course is what I'm really here for and I'm going to just find out which size is right for me. There we go, hopefully there's enough details there to make sure that you're able to ensure you buy an original product and that this video helped you with your buying decisions. Thank you for watching, feel free to like, subscribe and comment.